go over how much time. Yeah, what, what are you doing? The mom's gonna detonate. Hurry! Oh, we gotta get Luke. Where'd Craig go? He's gone. Wait, what about the bomb? We can't disarm it. We gotta go. Just blow up the whole building. Let's go. go. We gotta get out of here. After the explosion, we took you and your squad to an off-site hospital. We have some questions for you. Where are Caleb and Elijah? I'll tell you once you answer some questions. We're with the FBI, and we wanted to ask you a few questions about this Officer Caleb. How does he factor in to the events that occurred at the police station? So a few months ago, I was working undercover in a drug ring, and me and Caleb were working together on that case. So when it came time for us to execute the drug bust on the Kingpin, uh, he turned his back on us when we were executing the mission. Uh, we're pretty sure it was for money and we think he planned it out, but he helped Grant get away from the situation. So... Wait, 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 wait. So this Officer Caleb was in communication with the Kingpin this whole time? He must have been. They, they never told me anything about it, so it must have just not been information that they wanted to tell me. I thought you were in their good graces. I thought I was too. Okay, so regardless of the of all that, you saw Caleb. You had a chance to take him out. Why didn't you? Well, when he, Grant was trying to escape, he wanted Caleb to go with him. But instead, Caleb turned on Grant and stayed back and helped us escape the explosion. I'm not sure if you know at this point, but one of the daughters of the forensic worker, she had, was found post-kidnapping, walking in a park. I wanted to know if you heard anything from the Kingpin or Caleb about this, if they maybe tried to taunt you in some way or gave you anything about who they might be working with and what context they might be working with them, if they outsourced, etc. anything. Uh, well, when I was with them, they never, they never said anything about trying to kidnap a child. I didn't, I didn't hear, maybe they were, but I guess they just wouldn't tell me that type of information. I guess I just probably wasn't close enough to them. So, Officer Caleb, how long have you been involved with this kingpin? Was it before or after uh, Officer Luke's undercover mission started? It was a little bit after. During the big uh, drug bust, you must have known that the police department was scheduling this. Why not warn the kingpin? What was your plan there? I wanted the money, but I also wanted him caught. You wanted him caught and wanted the money. Doesn't exactly fit, does it? You and the kingpin were the only two people in your party at the police station during the time of the explosion, but Forensic worker's daughter was found in a park more than 15 miles away, about 15 minutes after. Who else was involved in this? Uh, it wasn't any cop. Pretty sure it was one of our dealers that the kingpin made him do. How many dealers does this kingpin have? Do you know? Did you get in that good of graces with him? I don't know. I assume I need to count them. 200, 300, he has a whole secret empire. One last question for you. Why betray the kingpin? Uh, he 
Jesus. That's good. 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 Do you have any idea where he might be? What, what, does he have any secret hideout places that you might know about? Yeah, I know a few places. Officer Luke, Officer Caleb. Can't say I'm glad to see you, but hopefully you're here to help us for real this time. So I know a place where most of the drug dealers could be right now. So. Could that help us find the kingpin? Yeah, I think so. Let's get moving. Where is the kingpin right now? Don't move. Okay. Guys, I got him. This is why. I don't know. Yeah, well, we just heard you talking on the phone about where he was, so we know you're lying. Look, I promise we won't kill you if you just tell us where he is. He's at 4649 Bell Run Avenue. Is he there by himself? No, he probably has a few guards with him right now. Why is he there? He's just trying to lay low. Thank you, that's all we need to know. Dude, what are you doing? Why'd you do that? Prosecutors claim a drug ring involving dozens of people distributed large amounts of meth and fentanyl laced counterfeit pills to Evansville. Prosecutors believe busting that ring will prevent drug overdoses across the state.
I don't know. He's not here. He's got to be outside. Come on. He's right there. He's right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are you doing out here? Come get me. Put your hands on your head and get on the ground. Hey, my gun's jammed, my gun's jammed. We have to Prosecutors dismantled a major drug trafficking ring in Indianapolis. Fox 59's Jesse Wells tells us 21 people are now facing federal charges in connection to this case. Prosecutors here in federal court believe the drugs were being shipped in from over 2,000 miles away in California before being distributed at homes across Indianapolis as well as Fort Wayne and even Brownsburg. Metro Police and the FBI are revealing details about one of the largest drug rings in central Indiana history. The bust includes cash, drugs, and at least and dozens of arrests, I should say. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt joins us live tonight from our downtown studio in Monument Circle with details. Jack. And the cartel police say operated here in Indianapolis through Greenwood and all the way southwest to Tempe, Arizona. And by the time it ended, law enforcement had arrested a total of 65 people, seized 122 pounds of heroin, cocaine, methamphetamine, 25 firearms, and four. Oh, no. 